Hi guys, it's Miss Katie. I have a story here, How a House is Built by Gail Gibson. Many houses that people live in. Some have siding, some are wood, some are even made out of mud and concrete. Here we have log cabin, we have a stone house. They both have sidewalks and they both have grass by them. And over here, we have a house that's built into the mountains and a house here that looks like it has a palm tree and it's concrete blocks by the ocean. Isn't that kind of cool? You can have a house built in many different places. You can have a brick house, a glass house, it's all made out of like windows. Just imagine your whole house made out of windows. And then this one is a, a framed house. A person that might draw your house is called an architect. This lady here is drawing some pictures and using her tools to measure where to and how big a house should be you can be a, a girl or a boy as an architect here is all the hard workers that go into building a house it is two pages wow look at that you have a variety of the general contractor someone that does a survey works the heavy machinery puts the foundation in the drywall that puts the walls up and puts concrete so you can paint them. There's the landscapers, carpenters, plumbers, the mason who takes care of the concrete and the basement, electrician that makes sure you have power through your house, heating specialist that does your air conditioning and your heat. Then you have painters and landscapers. Landscapers are the ones that work outside. That's why they have a shovel. These are all the workers. This person is called a surveyor and he or she takes and puts stakes sometimes down and makes it so you can see where you are building. So you are building in the right spot. Back here, this is a driller. This person is making sure that the soil is good to build on. They got the approval. So see, here they go. Here was one of the stakes. They started removing the dirt so that way they can get it out to put concrete cinder blocks in so that you can build your basement or your foundation up to build your house. Here they are. They are putting the concrete in and this is the form they put a board around so the concrete forms into that and then over here when they're done they put concrete barriers or metal um metal beams and that's called the form and there they are starting to organize what the foundation is going to be here is above where the grass and the dirt so they are deep in so grass is above their heads and this is a hole that's been dug out. A lot of houses have basements. Some do not. Here they are putting the drainage in so if water comes it can drain and this is the gravel and here they are building the protection around. Then they put in the floor and they put concrete and they smooth it out. Isn't that kind of cool? And here it is. Outside, sometimes your houses are painted. This is tar, and then they're gonna put dirt around, but you'll see that window still, okay? See how this window? That window is this window. See how they have it above? So it equals almost to the grass, okay?
Now here, this is your septic tank. Some houses have septic tanks and some houses have waste pipes and sewers. This house has a septic tank and here's the basement. That is not in the house. It's next to the house and this pipe is going to run in and then into there. Here they are, they're starting to bowl, um, build. Here they put the frame around for the floors. This is the joints they have to put together to make sure it's strong and safe. Here is the decking, they call it. And it's the, this is plywood that they have to put down as the base. And then they'll put the flooring on top of that. Here they are building walls and they're going to lift them up and brace it. So that would be a window and this is going to be a wall. This is the outside and this is the inside part. Okay. A lot goes into a house. You are right. Absolutely. This is the tricky part. Look at this. They have two of them going by each other. They're going to have to remove this part. See how he's telling them what to do? And here they are putting up that other part. And here it is. This is called, it's all framed in. And this is their windows. And this is the doorway. Now they're putting the eaves on to build the roof. And that's what these are called the eaves. And this is a big joint. Um, see, goes all the way across. See how they're hammering and they're starting to put wall, um, filler on the paper, and the walls, the dry wood, or the um, dry wall. And here they are. Now they're putting you're looking in, making sure everything's okay, but look, this is your electricians. They have to pull wires through the between the joints and the braces to put in to make sure they're done. After that is when they can put the insulation in to keep your house. And that's who your heating and cool might put in your insulation to keep your house nice and cool if it's hot out or if it's uh, you know cold out, you want to keep your heat in. And here they are. They're putting it on, and then someone is drywalling afterwards, putting up. So this is the drywall, and they have to patch the tape down, and then they put special mud right there. It has to dry, and they have to sand it down, and then you do it again, and then you let it dry, and then you sand it down, and then if you need to do a third coat, you do. Once that's all done, look, they're putting on the shingles for the roof to protect the roof. This is the plywood and here's the shingles. And here, the drywall's all dry. So now the painters are going to paint and the trim is going around the windows. The windows are in and they're putting the trim, which is like wood or metal sometimes around the window. And here, they're hanging the lights, they're putting in the sink, they're putting the cabinets. This is carpenters. And then here's the heating specialist making sure that all the tubing is correct so the heat and the air conditioning can get through the house. Mm -hmm. And here is a big job too. This is the landscaper. This is the grass. So you're starting off, see all this grass here? But this isn't grass, right? That's just mud you have to plant bushes and flowers and you have to put seed down. Sometimes you put saw, which is like grass already and you roll it out. And here you are, a family buys the house and the grass is there and the bushes are there and they all can't wait to move into their brand new house. Now remember, some people don't live in a big house some people live in an apartment or a townhouse. Some houses are small and some houses are big. 
let me know what kind of house you live in and draw me a picture and send it to me, Miss Kristen, Miss Jasmine, Miss Nicole. You can always email us, send it through Talking Points, or put it on Seesaw. Hope you're all doing great. Talk to you later. Bye.